Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of the vlog. I got something very exciting to show you. Well, exciting, if you're me. Um, so, I've, like a lot of people, have been getting kind of bored during this quarantine. Been quarantined for about a month now, so I thought, why not? I went on eBay and was able to pretty much complete my collection of all the officially released KISS VHS tapes. Uh, that have been put out over the years. Uh, I do not have either of the KISS movies, so I don't have KISS Meets the Phantom of the Park or Detroit Rock City, but I have just about everything else that they released officially and more. Um, so, uh, very excited to watch all of these. Um, I am going to start from the very beginning here. Animalized Live Uncensored. I love getting this. Uh, in the original U.S. Uh, packaging here with the weird uh, music vision case. It kind of threw me off when I got it in the mail and tried to open it up. I was like, nope, 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 nope. It's one of these weird cases where you actually have to open the side label and take it out this way. Very strange. Uh, the label also came off in the mail, but I was able to glue it back on, and the tape was just in excellent shape. I was very happy with it. This is basically a concert from Cobo Hall in Detroit in December of 1984 on the Animalized Tour. Uh, it's fairly doctored. I mean, you can tell there's some vocal stuff going on on this tape that uh, wouldn't have been quite the same as it was live, but Kiss have been no strangers to, uh, you know, editing their official live releases, and uh, this concert is just really fun, and I think it would make an excellent like uh kiss alive two and a half you know what i'm saying i was really happy with this sh with 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 the shape that this is in uh kiss exposed i have two of them uh this is a sort of mockumentary style um kind of yeah it's like a comedy documentary of kiss in 1987 um and and it also shows some awesome uh, vintage live footage from the 70s and early 80s, as well as some of their more recent at the time music videos. And it's actually pretty funny, like the storyline is funny. Uh, it basically follows Kiss around a mansion and sees their overly extravagant life, and there's fun little bits in it, like the Paul Stanley workout tape. It's just funny. Um, I, I, I really enjoy it. I, I bought this one a couple of years ago down in Seattle. Uh, this is the US version. And then this one. I just got in the uh, a wholesale lot of bunch of tapes, I which included a couple of duplicates, and you can see the tape on this. Uh, this is a Canadian version, slightly different from the original U.S. version, but that's just a minor detail. Uh, that one's really fun. Yeah, it came out in early '87 between the Asylum and Crazy Nights albums. And speaking of Crazy Nights, here's the Crazy Nights video from 1988. All that this video is is the three music videos. Uh, that were issued in support of the Crazy Nights album. That's all it is. It's like 15 minutes long. But for a true completionist, you must have it. Um, Extreme Close-Up uh, from 1992 is a more serious documentary uh, with interviews from the, at the time, current members of KISS being Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Bruce Kulick, and Eric Singer, and a whole host of classic live clips. These are not all full songs. A couple of them are. Uh, but it does also contain most of the music videos that they put out in the late 80s and early 90s that at the time had not been issued on video yet. Very cool. I, I've i seen Extreme Close-Up and Confidential before as they were both released as a DVD, and I do have that DVD. They were released as one DVD of Confidential and Extreme Close-Up. And speaking of which, here's Confidential from 1993. This is basically just a concert uh, from Detroit in 1992 with some awesome backstage footage and uh, them talking about tour stories. And then in the middle, you've also got four... Uh, 70s performances that are definitely worth watching as well. Most of these tapes are about 90 minutes long with the exception of that Crazy Nights one I showed you earlier. Here's another one I have two of from 1994. It's the Kiss My Ass video. <laughs> Excellent title, I know. Um, but um, what this is is, once again, just a collection of live clips, mostly from the 70s, a couple from the 80s, and even one from 92. And then it's interspliced with some really cool clips of, like, 
commercials from back in the 70s. I know there's the Saturday Night Live sketch is thrown in here, and there's just a whole bunch of random little clips thrown out. Now, I, I had this U.S. version, which I think I bought at that same place in Seattle that I bought the exposed tape, and then... One cool thing about this wholesale lot that I bought, again, it gave me a duplicate, but this one is Canadian, and you can tell it's got the different flag in the back, kiss my ass, the album, and also the video were issued with different backgrounds based on what country you bought it in. Oh, and the tapes look different too, would you look at that. Neat. Alright. Next you got... MTV Unplugged. I was thrilled when I got this that it had the sticker here. The Kiss Reunion, Gene Paul, Peter, and Ace. Uh, they did get back together for this concert in August of 1995. That was eventually released on video and on, on record as well in March of 96. Most of the songs were performed by the lineup at the time, which was Gene, Paul, Bruce, and Eric Singer. And then Ace and Peter join in for a few songs at the end. It's very cool, very fun. I've seen the longer uh, version of this concert on the Kissology Volume 3 DVD, but I've never seen the original film as it was originally issued. Whoops, and down goes the tower of these. Ha, whoops, should have been more careful with that. Uh, then we got the Second Coming 2 video uh, set. It originally came out as a two VHS set like this. And uh, once again, I just previously had owned only the second half of this movie. For whatever reason, like, I, I know, if, I remember a friend of mine found this at a Value Village and thought I would want it. Didn't, not really realizing that it was only the second half of this movie. But so, so I've had the second half of this for a long time. Now I can finally watch the full thing. This is a documentary on the 1996-97 reunion tour with the original lineup back in makeup and costumes and all that fun stuff. Uh, it's only about two hours long, which leads me to say that they probably totally could have fit this on one tape if they really tried, because it's all about getting that sweet, sweet money. Anyway, uh, my only complaint about the Second Coming documentary it's a fun documentary, but it does not have any actual full song clips or anything. And the video cassette version does not have any bonus features. I believe there was a music video or two in the DVD extras, but I don't have that. Next, we got a little bit of a curiosity here. These are the Psycho Circus 3D videos. Uh, I didn't really care that much about these, but this is a nice little cherry on top. These, uh, if you thought that Crazy Nights video with only three music videos on it was strange, this Psycho Circus 3D video is just that. It's just the one music video for Psycho Circus in 1998. Included, include some 3D glasses, uh, for viewing. Yeah, here we go. So, they, uh, came with these actual KISS-branded... 3D glasses, which are kind of a collector's piece in and of themselves. Pretty cool here. Um, that allows you to watch the video in 3D. I did break one of these out and watch it, and the 3D effect is not that... Uh, it's a little bit underwhelming, but it's still cool. It's a cool collector's piece. Now, the reason I have four of them is because it's kind of a collect-all four thing, but... Now, forgive me if I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something. But uh, I there was really no point for the person who sold this to 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 bring me like all four of them. To to my knowledge, the only difference between the four was what the CD looked like. It came with a bonus free enhanced CD, as you can see here. But I already knew in the eBay listing it did not contain those CDs. I guess he either sold them separately or kept them. Uh, the CDs were a sort of collect all four thing. Without the CDs in them, I see exactly no reason to have all four of these. They appear to all be literally identical. Probably the guy just took the CDs out and had four of them laying around and didn't want to sell them individually. But anyway, I have four of these. If you really want one, you can contact me and I'll probably send it to you. <laughs> so yeah, I have four of these little one video DVDs, kind or, or VHS tapes rather. Very strange, but also cool. Technically, you cannot have a complete 
collection of the KISS video library without these. And that concludes all of the official releases that I have now collected. But the uh, eBay uh, set that I got also contained this awesome documentary on the life of uh, former KISS drummer Eric Carr. He joined the band. It, it's called Tale of the Fox. He joined the band in 1980 and tragically died from cancer in 1991. This video, to my knowledge, was not officially licensed by KISS, uh, but it was uh, sanctioned, I believe it was sanctioned by Eric's uh, estate, and I have been told on many an occasion that this is actually an excellent documentary, and I'm really looking forward to, to giving this a watch. I have never seen it. Should be cool. Anyway, boy... Do I have a lot of viewing ahead of me? Thank you so much for watching this video. Thought this might be fun to see for some KISS fans out there. Um, uh, for those of you who don't uh, know, I am also a professional musician myself. Uh, you can check out the description for a full list of all my upcoming... Uh, oh, I, I, I'm so used to saying the old version of my spiel, which is that you can check out the description for a full list of all my upcoming concert dates. But I do not have any concert dates as of right now, of course, due to the quarantine. But you can check out the description for links to where you can find my music, where it's sold or streamed online. You can like this video if you like what you saw. Subscribe to this channel if you've been enjoying my videos. I also do a year-by-year -year Kiss history series. I've gotten all the way up to Animalize with the Asylum video coming real soon. Um, yeah, and you can even ring the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video, which should be tomorrow and most days for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you again soon.